Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going into Act 6.2.6, the final quest of Chapter 6.2. So first I wanted to show you guys my masteries because people are always asking me what my mastery setup is. It changes all the time. I have a video where I go into my mastery setup, some of the reasoning behind some of the choices. Uh, this one is different from the one that I... Uh, normally run. It's still suicides, but I went with Max Limber and I did not put points in to uh, Assassin and uh, the uh, Bleed. All right. Here's the team that I decided to go in here with. Now, this quest was the longest by far of all the quests in Act 6. And, well, you're going to get to see that final uh, fight. And that was a frustrating fight. All right, so the easiest path to take is the path that you're seeing me take here, which is right down the middle. Uh, go straight down. And you'll see, you know, which way that I went. Uh, because it will remove all of the links to the final boss. So you'll actually fight the boss at, uh, boss at his easiest. All right. So first up, we've got Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. You saw the node that we had to deal with. Nothing too crazy. And Ghost, of course, is more than up for it. Uh, took a little chip damage. I don't know how to evade his special two completely. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't. But... I pretty much use Ghost along with the Hood and Wasp Synergy to clear the path. And the plan is to use Symbiote Supreme and he's going to take care of the first 90% and the final 10% will be Captain America Infinity War. That's the plan. Wait till you guys see. So next up, we've got Hyperion. Now Hyperion can be very, very annoying. And one of the things that makes him so difficult is that he has his own passive power gain. And you saw that node. So if you try to nullify it or do anything crazy, uh, you'll be punished for it. Fortunately, Ghost has a way to deal with this. And you're going to see me do this here. So you may have heard about the Ghost Trinity, which is Ghost, Wasp, and the Hood. Of those synergies i consider the hood synergy to be the most important that's because i run suicides uh what that synergy does is when she's phased she takes no damage so you see i pushed him to a special three now normally this is when you're going to get wrecked and you saw how i kept hitting him and then phasing hitting him and then phasing i wanted to make sure i was phased the only way the ai can really mess you up here is if the ai decides to wait, get real passive, wait till your phase is over, and then fire the special three. That can mess you up. Um, but as you saw, I took no damage. And here we go with that power gain again, but see, I'm not even trying to bait out anything because I know that as long as I'm phased, I'm not gonna take any damage. This does add some time, of course, you have to sit here through this animation, but it's pretty safe. Now you can mess up. Uh, if you mess up, if he reacts faster and blocks, you're not going to be able to phase until you hit him and get rid of that precision buff. So there's a little danger there, but as you saw, we were able to take care of it. All right. So, yeah, I decided to use up my small energy refill. Why not? Now, here's one that is a lot of fun. Iceman with that cold snap. Now, I remember when this was a most annoying type of fight, an awakened Iceman, and you have to deal with that cold snap damage. Yes, you have some champions now that are cold snap immune, but with the hood synergy, see that? She's not taking any damage from cold snap and it's gone. Not only did she not take damage from it, but she converted it into a fury to make her hit even harder. So she is a great counter for Iceman. 
Now, if you don't have Ghost, one of the things that you can do is boost. Boost up your health. Because once you survive the initial cold snap damage, after that, it's just a matter of uh, playing well. Evading the specials, baiting them out, and getting them down. So if you don't have a way to handle the cold snap, that's what you do. Now see here, I was trying to bait him and he wouldn't bait. So I said, you know what, forget it. And just look at that, he still has ice armor up and I was trying to wait, get it down before I did any kind of a crazy specials, but he just would not bait. So now I'm gonna hit him, phase, and immediately fire off my special two. And you'll see that I phase right after it so that my recoil damage is also negated. Again, the hood synergy. Now, the wasp synergy is also a lot of fun and it'll speed things up. You don't have to bait them before you phase and attack. It's just a different play style. Wasp makes it much easier, but if I had to choose between the two, I would choose hood. I went for a while without a five-star wasp. I only got her recently. And I did some paths in 6.1 with her where I only had the hood uh, synergy. So that's the synergy that I feel is the most important, but they're both good. So now we're fighting Blade. And he is pretty easy, pretty straightforward to fight. You've gotta watch out for that special two. I've gotten clipped by it and it's ugly and it could end the fight. Uh, if he hit me with his special two, chances are I would either die or I'd be extremely low health before I could phase and get rid of the bleed damage. And now with him, I can push him to a special three, but you have to be careful. Although I wouldn't take any damage, and I'm so glad that I finished the fight off right there. But although I would not take any damage thanks to the hood synergy, it has a stun component to it. So yeah, I would take no damage, no bleed, no nothing, but I'd be stunned. And then phase would wear off and he would tag me and possibly still take me out. So, just something to keep in mind uh, for you ghost players. Now, here's an interesting fight. This is magic. And her limbo damage with the hood synergy is also negated, but I have to play a little bit differently and you'll see that I don't do that exactly uh, perfectly. Like see here, the limbo, I need to stay phased as long as possible while limbo is active instead of attacking her. So you see there, and I'm still taking a little damage because the phase isn't lasting uh, long enough, okay? And right there, I took a chance because she has power gain. And when you fire off that special two, if you get the first hit and then the second hit, she activates limbo, everything else is now gonna be rewound thanks to her limbo ability. All right, and you're taking all that damage while that limbo is active and you can't do anything because you're in the middle of your special. So she is still pretty annoying, uh, but Ghost, as you see, more than enough to handle her. Lost some health, but was able to take her out. Uh, if I had boosted, she would have been dead before she finished her first limbo. All right, so now we have a fight that I was dreading, Void. Now I told you I'm running suicides. And with Void, that's suicide, all right? Uh, pardon the little play on words there, but basically Void does more damage the more debuffs you have on. So I'm thinking, okay, um, Ghost can somewhat handle that because she's going to phase out the uh, debuffs. So you can do this fight with, uh, with Ghost but I wanted to try something. I wanted to see just how bad the damage would be. 
And I do this. If you've watched my video, you'll see that I went up against him with Blade and it was a race against the clock. You know, would I die first or would I take him out first? So I said, let me see what, how much damage Wasp can do and what that damage looks like. So let this be a lesson to any of you who want to fight Void with suicides. Look at the damage. I haven't even been hit. Okay, just look at that damage. I'm barely making it to a special one. Now, of course, since I run suicides, that took quite a bit of my health, the recoil damage, but you see how much damage that is. So I said, okay. Now, I could have gone in here, like I said, with Ghost, but I started thinking. I said, you know what? I've got to take these off and change my masteries anyway because I am not running suicides when I fight the champion. So I went ahead and redid my masteries and I'll give you guys a look. You know, I sped this up a little bit here, uh, but here you go. You will see uh, what I decided to go with uh, and we'll slow it down uh, after I, I get done here. Uh, but basically what I did was I took off the suicides and I started putting more points into defensive type masteries. All right. Like the perfect block that you're seeing there. I don't normally, um, I do go four out of four perfect block, but uh, I mean block proficiency, but I don't normally put points into perfect block. So this is what you see here. I maxed out perfect block and three points into stand your ground, which I never touch only one in willpower. And, um, I went three in mystic dispersion. I left the five limber and I also put, uh, points into deep wounds. All right. So with that, I figured, all right, I should be ready, you know, to go now these fights now, because I'm not running my suicides are going to take a little bit longer. And I have to switch my mindset. I'm used to fighting with suicides, right? So I'm used to being very sparing on my specials unless I'm playing ghost. And you'll see here, I tend to do the same thing as if I were running suicides. All right. So you'll see that after I fire off a special two, that I end up phasing as if I was phasing out that recoil. So you see here, I went ahead and, and fired off a heavy attack so that I could build up some furies because I need more damage since I'm not running suicides. Now, if you don't mind a longer fight, you don't need to do that. But when you fire off your heavies, there's a chance. It's not 100% that you will proc some furies. All right. Um, so we're just going in. And so far, so good. And I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. See, he's unblockable there, but Ghost doesn't care. All right, and you see, I made sure I phased right after I attacked so that when he fired off this special three, as you can see, no damage done. Love that hood synergy. Now, a couple of times after my special three, I have found where the AI was already on me. So I was a bit wary, but that didn't happen here, thankfully. All right, and here we go. Got another special two and down goes void. All right, so not the prettiest of fights, but we got him down without, you know, dying with ghost anyway. All right, so now we go straight down. We don't go to the left at all, nor to the right. Um, but now we're going to face Gladiator Hulk, who is an annoying defender. And do you see that mighty charge? That I hate with a passion because all through this fight, I have to fight my muscle memory. Okay. So I decided to go ahead and heal up a little bit because I just had a feeling I was going to need it. I was going to mess up mighty charge. Very, very annoying. So with ghost. Normally I could phase, let them attack me once and attack. Can't do that with Mighty Charge. So you'll see that I let them swing twice. One, two, and then attack. Because I have to wait out that unstoppable. Okay, so as long as I can remember that, we're all right. Okay, and I'm just firing off my 
special twos like they're going out of style. And then here, like I knew, uh, I got caught because I was too busy trying to look. I was like, can I attack? Is this unstoppable over? You know, and it's just really annoying because you have to, I, I, at least I have to think more when it comes to Mighty Charge. And then he has his smash, so you've got to watch for that as well. But so far, we're doing all right. We're remembering to go in after two. This incidentally is also, for you ghost players, how you have to fight Domino. All right, so if you don't have ghost, basically you have to deal with Mighty Charge in a similar fashion. You know, when he dashes at you, you do not want to attack him immediately. You do not want to try to intercept him. Not with Mighty Charge, not gonna happen. And here, I just messed up, but he didn't punish me. He didn't do a five hit combo right there. That should have been it for me. And I'm not even sure how that happened, um, that he didn't finish me off. But what I did, my mistake was uh, when I do a swipe, I swipe with my right thumb and I hit the special with my left. That seems to be the best way for me to get them almost simultaneously. But what happened there, and I could feel it when I did, I didn't swipe quite right. And so I hit the special first by mistake. And then I swiped afterwards. That's what happened there. All right, but we didn't uh, go down. Thanks to those heal potions, we're still in the game. And we got that 1%. And down goes Gladiator Hulk. So, so far, so good. We have not needed to revive along this path. And quite frankly, if I had needed a revive, I would have just restarted. I was not about to use a revive because I figured I was gonna need some revives for that champion. All right, so here we got Tank Buster. Nothing to really worry about, honestly. Uh, if you know how to fight Corvus, you know how to evade both of his specials, you don't have anything to worry about. I would recommend that you do not take blocked hits because he will crit you through your block you saw that tank buster node it's gonna hurt so i actually decided to go in here with the hood because i think he's pretty underrated now granted the fight did go on a little bit longer but here's something i want you all to pay attention to for this fight look at Hood's health. You see what his health looks like. Then I want you to compare his health at the end of the fight. And you tell me whether you like Hood or not. Now my Hood is a rank four. And remember, I turned off my suicides. So if I had my suicides on, he would be doing much more damage. All right, but without the suicides, he can still do some work. Now, remember that I also put one point into willpower and I always recommend at least one point, whether you run suicides or not. And you can see here that he took a little chip damage, but he's back up to 100% health. And the fight is proceeding pretty straightforward you know corvus is not a difficult defender unless he's on a node uh because i got wrecked hard in alliance war by a corvus now you can see here i know how to fight corvus and i was like okay i should be able to take this corvus out no problem he was on a node that uh i forget what the nodes um gave him um it wasn't invade i don't believe but he almost killed me just hitting me in my block. So it may have been in invade or it may have just been some block penetration. I don't remember, but it hurt. And so I was like, wow, this is nuts. But in any case, this Corvus does not have that. And I remember when Corvus first came into the game, he wrecked me hard. That special two, I wasn't used to it. And so 
I evaded part of it, and then he came all the way across the screen and hit me and took me out. And you do not want to get hit by Corvus in this fight. Okay. Uh, so there we go. And we're on our final approach here. Corvus is immune to shock and all that good stuff. However, even though he has his uh, glaive charges active, I want you to watch. Okay, I got him down. He still has four glaive charges. Didn't help. Because when he gets knocked down, which he does in the case of a special, they are temporarily uh, deactivated, which means you can always finish Corvus off with a special. So if you have a special, hold on to your special. Okay, so now we are finally at the champion boss. And I'm gonna tell you guys something. I'm gonna show you the buffs. They're not that many. Uh, and we're gonna look at his abilities, which is what you're really going to be dealing with. And I didn't bother, I admit it, I didn't bother reading uh, all of this. I just put it up here for you guys. But this fight was one of the hardest fights that I've had to deal with only because for some reason, I just could not get the hang of the timing of uh, the special. But even before that, as you guys will see, getting him down to 10%. So I'll give you guys a little bit of background uh, once we get to that point. And I'll tell you what was going on uh, and, and what I was dealing with while I was fighting, all right? So you can see here what you're gonna deal with with the champion. Basically, he has multiple phases. Uh, you need to get him down to 10%. Once you get him down to 10%, you need to dex his specials five times and then hit him with a special to take him out. Otherwise, you're not doing any damage to him whatsoever. So this is a fight that you cannot pay your way through. It doesn't matter how many revives, how many health potions you purchase. If you do not get the timing down, forget about it. All right. So I'm going to show you guys right here what resources I'm working with. Just part of the resources I'm working with. All right. So here's what I have in my overflow. And I'll show you guys. But basically, I have... 23 level one revives and I have two level two revives and I have a few uh, level three health potions and some team health potions and all of that. Um, I didn't really keep track of the health potions that I used. Uh, I, in fact, I still have a, a bunch of them left. All right. But I just wanted to show you guys that I had some um, expiring. That's why I decided on this nice, beautiful weekend to frustrate myself against this champion because I had the revives. They're about to expire. May as well go ahead and do it. Uh, even though AQ is up, I decided to uh, go ahead in here. I made sure that I kept the champions I was planning on using against him, namely uh, Captain America Infinity War and Symbiote Supreme along with the Ghost Trinity, uh, out of Alliance War. I don't bring them to Alliance Quest anyway, but Alliance War, I've been tempted, especially since we're starting to be a little bit more serious, uh, tempted to go in with Ghost. Now that I have Hood and Wasp up at rank four, uh, they could be very useful to me. All right. So you can see I am boosting up. I am not taking this fight lightly. Now, I watched some people do this fight. Some did worse than I did. Some did much better than I did. Uh, my Symbiote Supreme is only a rank four, as you can see there. But in my opinion, Symbiote Supreme is the best for getting the, con uh, the champion down to that 10%. Now you saw I took a little blocked hit. You see how much damage that one blocked hit did? Just look at that. So you don't wanna take blocked hits from him. They hurt. 
okay? So I learned that, and I'm like, okay, I need to continually push him to his special one, bait it out. I don't really mind pushing him to a special two because that's easy to evade as well. Um, but for this first part, I kept pushing him to a special one. Now here, I just wanted to bait that out. Um, but this is the first time I'm going up against the champion ever in 6.2.6. .6. I've fought champions before, of course, but this is the first time in this quest I'm going up against him. So I'm still feeling my way through, even though I've seen other videos on him. Okay, so the basic strategy is to cycle those special threes. All right, and one of the reasons that I uh, maxed out my deep wounds was because that actually helps him out. When he fires off his special three, all of his phases are active, all of his modes. You see that on the left, all three. And so you see all those bleeds? Look at those that bleed damage. That's some serious bleed damage, okay? So deep wounds, very good. Look at him, he's still bleeding. So you definitely want to go deep wounds if you're planning on using Symbiote Supreme. Uh, the sweet spot for me was three, Mystic Dispersion. I don't even have more than three unlocked, but some people love more than three, four or five. It just depends. Uh, for this fight, I think three is okay, but four and five probably would do better if you plan on just cycling the uh, special threes, okay? Uh, so you can see we're putting staggers on him. Look at that, I just messed up right there. Now, that is gonna cost me because now my health is very low, all right? That's gonna cost me. So I was doing just fine up to that point. And I believe I got a little distracted. I, I, I looked up at a buff or something like that and just got clobbered. I, I have a problem with focus, in case you guys who have been following my channel, I'm sure you already know that. Uh, that's why I say all the time, I hate long fights, because I will lose focus and get clobbered, all right? And then once I got smacked up like that, now I'm focused, I'm like, okay, you know, we can't have that happen again or we going down, you know? I ain't going down, I ain't going down no more, no more. All right, so here we go. Now here, I'm holding the special three because I'm just wanting to bait out his special ones, keep cycling. Now here, I fired off my special three because I wasn't gonna be able to push him to a special one. That's kind of what I was thinking at that time. All right, so push him to a special one, bait it out. It says he's aggressive and you can see he's very aggressive. Look at that, he's firing it off right away. All right, so that works in your favor because he's that aggressive. Look at that. You don't have to bait out very um, hard. But look at that degeneration. Now, I still haven't found out what that degen was all about. Like I said, I didn't read it. Uh, I'm not familiar with the champion. But that degen shocked me. And I'm like, wait, what happened? You know, I'm doing fine here. And look at this. I'm down to 3% health. And he hadn't touched me. I'm getting degen. And I'm like, what is going on? So I fired off that special 3 hoping that I could just get a little bit more damage and get him down to 10% before that degen, whatever it was, happened. So I'm staying away from him. All right, baited that out. I go in and I just die. Degen took me out. So I'm just like, are you kidding me? We were doing so well, but had I not messed up, I would have had more health to play with. So that really cost me. And what you're gonna see here is a series of bad, bad playing and me forgetting things and getting tilted. But I used up some revives, just getting him to 10%. Uh, so we're back in the game here, all right? And we're trying to get him down and then look at that. So he, has unblockable attacks. Um, I believe his light attacks are unblockable. I didn't realize that, okay? So that's how I got clobbered right there. And I'm like, okay, okay. Now, 
I get real stubborn when I lose like this. You know, I got a bunch of revives. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to get him down to 10%. All right. So then I go in, I intercepted, and I'm just like, okay, we got this. There we go. Baited out that heavy. Boom, boom. Got to his special one. So we should be good right here, right? Yeah, just watch. All right. Here we go. Got another special one. Got some more degen on me. All right. Now I'm not to my special three. And I didn't push him to a special uh, one yet. But here we go. So we're doing good, right? There's my special three. Waiting. Just trying to cycle it out, like I said earlier. And then that happened. Don't ask. I don't know. I'm not going to make any excuses. But I will tell you this. You're going to see stuff like that happen uh, again. Uh, apparently, either I just forgot how to evade or I evaded too late. And that happened. I don't know. All right. Uh, so I go back in and forget he's unblockable. I went for the parry and went down. I said, are you kidding me? So now I'm tilted. But here's something else that's going on. I mentioned this earlier. Uh, my mom needed to get some carrots from the store. So me and my sister were going to go to Walmart and uh, buy her carrots. And then my sister was going to do a little shopping. And then I was going to pick up a few things as well. So at this time, my sister's waiting and she's sending me messages. Are you ready? Hurry up. Let's go so we can come back. Come on. So I'm trying to hurry up. This is not a good combination. As you can see, I'm trying to rush this fight. I'm trying to try to get him down to 10% as fast as possible. He's so close, right? But as you can see, I'm just making stupid mistakes. You know, other than that evade mess up or whatever, just messing up. So here I decided to go in with hood and you saw I haven't even gotten hit. Well, I did get hit through my um, invisibility. That was just a sad showing. Like I said, I'm trying to hurry. I'm tilted. Just bad. There was no uh, game shenanigans going on there. Just bad playing. Um, so I'm just like, OK, you know what? Whatever. Let's go in with ghost. So you guys have seen me play in ghost. We got here just fine. I'm not trying to take him down with ghost. Just trying to get him down to his 10%. And I'm like, yeah, we got this. All right. Wait out that unstoppable. But what happened there? Do y'all see what I'm saying? All through the path, I've been using ghost and having no problem phasing. But there, now maybe it's something I just don't know. Maybe it's his abilities. Like I said, I don't know the champion that well. And I noticed that because I lost, he has those persistent charges. So I don't know whether that is playing into it or not. But I do know that I tried to evade and phase because that's what you do with Ghost. And she did nothing but take that hit. All right. So I went back to Symbiote Supreme. And I'm like, okay, I'm looking up there and I'm like, okay, 12% health. We got this. And then, did you guys see that? I dashed in and hit him and then stopped and dashed back instead. All I'm trying to do is combo him because I'm so close. I'm like, okay, I got this. I got this, right? But no. So another revive. And let me tell you, I'll give you a little spoiler. I used more revives on this first 90% than I did on the last 10%. I was so annoyed with all these shenanigans and I was tilted. I should have just taken a break and relaxed, but I didn't. All right. Now, one thing that I did cut out a little bit is there was a time where I just sat here at the screen fuming. Okay. And I was like, maybe I should just go ahead and use Captain America Infinity War to get him down to the 10%. But I'm stubborn, I was upset, and I was determined to do this with Symbiote Supreme. All right? 
Um, now, if I go in here again against the champion, I'll do better. But just look at this. That, along with the other one just before it, was just me playing pissed and trying to rush. So nobody to blame but myself for all of these shenanigans. But I left him in here for you guys because I know some people just love to see me getting wrecked. And uh, a lot of my videos, I would just give you guys like the final attempt. You know, like I could have easily cut out all of that and then just shown you the end, you know, but you guys need to know what's going on. Now, here we are um, dipping into the stash. So I basically grabbed my level one revives because remember some were um, about to expire and I had forgotten. And I was like, oh wait, I need to grab those just in case. All right. So now we're back. We made sure we grabbed those uh, uh, ones that were expired. And I'm now here, I'm just like, okay, what am I going to do? Am I going to revive again? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and revive again because I'm stubborn and I wanted to do this with Symbiote Supreme and stop playing like a scrub. You know, when I was in an alliance early on, I got a field promotion because of that. I went up against, I believe it was a juggernaut that wrecked all of us. And I got pissed and I used my revives until I got that juggernaut down. It was an alliance war a long time ago. All right. And uh, when somebody beats me, I want to go back in. I didn't want to go in with anybody else but Symbiote Supreme because that's who was getting beat. All right. So we're already down to 10% right here. So once I saw that, because I was real focused, once I saw that, I was like, okay, let me just fire off a special three. It's not going to kill him uh, because we're at the final 10%. And then I'm just going to quit out of the fight and bring in Captain America Infinity War. So finally, we got done with that first phase. It should not have been that hard. Uh, I watched, uh, I believe, Seton, and he didn't even use a revive. Uh, that I saw he got uh, now he has a 565 um, symbiote supreme uh, and I believe he did you know boost up and everything like that uh, he also plays better than I do so he was able to get the champion down to 10% pretty quickly and easily with symbiote supreme and uh, then he was able to get him down with uh, Captain America Infinity War it was it was a sight to behold uh, but here we go. Now, here's the hard part about this fight. You are not about to get through it unless you get that right there down. You see that I tried to dex his special. So throughout my attempts here, I try a couple of ways. Okay, you see like right there, I tried to evade a little bit later because earlier I evaded too soon. That time I evaded too late and got hit. And you see those five charges up there. He is completely invulnerable. All right. So again, I took all that block damage because that was another way that I saw uh, folks doing to get rid of the uh, charges. Okay, here we go. Now that time I got it. I actually dexed that out. And I hate that leg sweep. Okay, it does so much damage. But Captain America Infinity War is a great option for this because he has high block proficiency. Okay, now see if I was able to evade that properly right there, I would have gotten another charge down. Okay, and there are people that can do it. So like right there, I was a little too scared and I evaded. I was too far out. Okay, so there's a couple of ways to do it and you'll see how I ended up doing it uh, in the end. But I try a few ways. All right, see, there we go. I was too far away and I knew that even when I was doing it just was not positioned correctly. All right. And there's no point in firing your special three off. As I said, he is completely invulnerable at this point. All right, now you saw what I did there. I actually went in a little bit and then went back out. Okay, that's another way that you could do it. And see there, I was going to do the take all the blocked hits method. That's why I, I took the masteries that I did, hoping that it would help me out there. And I evaded early because I saw that 
I wasn't going to be able to take it. But look at this. I've actually been able to get him down to two charges. And this is my first attempt on the champion. So I'm like, okay, we're doing well here, right? But my health. I don't have enough health. I got this a little bit too late. And you saw right there, I tried to go in and then evade and then just got wrecked. I was peeking up there to see if my evade actually worked. And I'm like, oh, it didn't. And then boom. He punched me right in my face. All right, so I was feeling good after that attempt, okay? So this is revive number one since he's been down to 10%. Uh, I actually used nine level one revives during the 90% uh, phase, okay? nine level one revives so now i've used up one revive and i said okay i want to get another good attempt in and i was thinking that i needed to have him at full health if i was going to do the blocked hits method okay now captain america infinity war can also nullify his unstoppable so he's great he is absolutely great for this fight one of the best all right see there i didn't dext uh, in time, I did it too early. So here we go. He goes unstoppable, but I'm able to just go in if I wanted to. There we go and nullify his unstoppable. All right, push him to a special one. And here we go. Go in. And I just did not get that timing right. So now, instead of taking all those blocked hits, I'm trying a different method. Okay, now see, I'm trying to get my bearings back here. But this method I've seen done as well, where you dash in during the middle of it and then dash out, okay? And I was surprised that that one didn't work. And I'm like, man, I've got to get this timing down, okay? So we're trying here, and I, I just reset because I really thought that other one was going to work, okay? But we've got enough health here to do a few more. If I could master that evade, it would go wonderfully. So here, instead of dashing in, I tried to position myself to where I could evade right afterwards. And see here, I decided to take some hits and again, still. And I'm like, what is going on? I am just messing up. My timing, I did so well in the first attempt, but now, look at this. I just cannot get the timing. Now, again, I am trying to hurry the fight uh, I've got my sister waiting for me. And I'm always the one that says, it doesn't pay to hurry and rush. And there you go. As I've said, it does not pay to hurry and rush. Because you're going to make mistakes. You're going to forget things. All kind of stuff is going to happen to you. All right? So I'm like, all right, well, that was one level one revive. And so I decided to use up one of my level two revives. Now, one thing that I'm concerned about, I did not farm a lot of level three potions, but as you saw, I had a bunch of these in my overflow. So I said, let me use these. Um, I'm not gonna use units. I determined not to, I've never used any units on any act. Okay, so I was not about to start here. Uh, I would quit out of it and just do it another time uh, before I use units. Besides, I still have my stash. All right, so here we go. Dashed in, did not dash out in time. Okay, so I'm like, all right, shake it off. Didn't hurt all that much. So we're going in again. Here we go. Trying again. Nope, went too early. And there we go. He just tagged me instead of uh, dashing back like I was expecting. And I just took a lot of hits. And then we experienced a little technical difficulty. Yeah, I raged a little bit right here. I was just like, are you kidding me? This is insane, all right? So I'm just like, all right, all right, let's go. All right, so here we are back after the technical difficulties that we had and uh, now we're going up against this boy again and 
we've got a, a, a nice little, you know, retry without, you know, that saved me a revive. Okay, that's all it did. So that's all that we can do. We don't get another one of those uh, anytime real soon. I, I never knew the uh, timing. All right, but there we go. Speaking of timing, uh, still, I'm just not able to do it. So I keep trying this one because if I can get that one, if I can get that timing down, I can do it with a little bit of health because I won't be taking any block damage. All right, and see there? I don't even know what happened there. Uh, I was taking the block damage and then I tried to evade, but I just started getting hit. And see, I'm, I'm a little timid now and I'm just like, okay, you know what? This is just their revenge. Let me see if I can just try to practice the timing. I'm not gonna get him now, but there we go. I got that timing. We got one. So I'm like, okay, if I can practice this a little bit more, you know, we should be all right. All right, we don't wanna get trapped against the wall. All right, here we go. One more try. No. Okay, down to 1%. And we're in the wall, boom, forget about it. All right, I tried to, uh, intercept him because I knew that if he got me in uh, against the wall, it was over with. All right. So I'm just like, okay, all right. Um, at least I got some of the charges down. Right. So I'm like, all right, we, we, we need to practice just a little bit more and I'm trying to breathe a little bit. And I said, all right, let me use another level to revive and just try to practice that timing because that's the hard part about this phase, that timing. You're not about to spend your way through it. That's why I didn't uh, heal all the way up because I need practice at this point. So this is a practice uh, run here. And if I can get him down, great, you know, but I need that practice. I need to get that timing. Boom, got one. All right, so now I just need to be consistent with it. So I'm like, okay, I think I have the timing now. So let's try that again. Nope, got caught full in my forehead. All right, so I'm like, shake it off. This is just practice. Try it again, again, in the same forehead. All right, so I'm just like, okay, clearly this is not the way that I need to be doing this. I just cannot seem to get that timing. Look at that. That time I went back way too early because I was too nervous now. I had just gotten hit twice and I only have 2% health left. There we go. Nope, still didn't get it. All right, so I'm just like, wow. I think I'm gonna change it up, but look at that. I actually got another one and didn't even realize it. I wasn't trying to that time. It was by accident completely. All right, so at this point I said, all right, we need to make a serious attempt at it now. That was the practice. And it told me enough. It told me that I probably need to not do that, that method. All right, so as you can see, I have 628 crystals, free crystals, and I'm gonna pop open 130 of them. And the reason is I want to get the health potions. <clears throat> I told you before, I did not, um, I didn't farm the level three health potions and it looks like for me to do what I was planning on doing, Captain America Infinity War needed to be at full health. And you see how many it said I had uh, level twos, I believe that was accurate, but maybe a visual bug. Okay, so we're gonna heal all the way back up and I'm gonna try a different method of getting those evades. I'm going to let him hit into my block and just try to get that one down. So we went ahead and healed all the way back up here, use up all my level twos. I could have gone into my stash and used up more level twos to save the level threes, but I'm lazy. He's at full. Let's get it. All right. So I'm hoping at this point that we're not going to take too many more revives to get him down. All right. So we push him to almost to a special two, simply because that makes it easier to get the uh, special one out of him. 
All right, so there we got the timing wrong. All right, shake it off. Let's try it again. But we can't keep doing that or else we're gonna run out of health. Okay, here we go. All right, got one. All right, so now we just have to do that four more times. All right, so here we go. Bait out another one, take those hits. Boom, second one. We're making some good progress here. I'm starting to get a little excited. This is similar to the first one. Just look at this. Boom, a third one. This is the best we've done since that first attempt. Okay, here we go. And look at that. I got one and I didn't even take any blocked hits. So I'm really excited now. I just need one more. Okay, took the blocked hits and didn't get it. No. All right. So I'm like, all right, we still have some health. We can still do this. <clears throat> just need one more. All right, here we go. Position, got it. I'm like, yes, but wait a minute. Got to make sure because there's some shenanigans. Look at that. Yes. And we got him. I was singing hallelujah after this. I told my alliance when I completed it. And one of the guys was like, all right, congratulations. But wait till you go uh, with the gated paths. And I told him, I'm not going back in there. And he just laughed. Yeah, 6.2.6 .6 is dead to me for a long while. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this long journey. Hopefully this will help you out. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.